Welcome to From the Bone Vault, Episode Zero. I'm Gil. And I'm Levi. And this is the origin story, guys. Uh, we're going to be bringing you a brand new podcast that's going to cover uh, all things horror, sci-fi, and fantasy. Um, what this is, is From the Bone Vault is a side project to Midnight Layer, our primary goal here, which will be a horror host show that harkens back to the 50s, 60s, and 70s, and uh, yet a kitschy host in a terrible film. But uh, on the road to getting there, Levi and I decided we wanted to have a project that will let us still get our ooky and spooky out uh, and something we could stand up and, and just really chew on for a while. So that's kind of uh, what birthed yeah, us to get to this point. <laughs> uh, yeah, and it, it's it's pretty fun so far yeah. uh we just wanted to give you guys a you know a little little taste of of what you're in store for, uh what's in store from us for you and um give you a little bit of background on us so you understand who it is that's coming at you with all these uh, explanations and backstory and our perspectives um levi I'll, I'll put the question to you why do you like horror sci-fi and fantasy well honestly i came to it sort of late in life when i was a kid i wasn't really allowed to watch it and I, I sort of stayed away from it but um as i got older like in college and out of college i started watching more movies i kind of got into uh horror in like the asian horror movies korean oh, like horror movies and Ring, japanese Ringu, Juan. uh yeah and uh i i don't know why those just seemed really creepy to me but i sort of got into it there and I just kept exploring and seeing what I missed when I was a kid. I didn't watch, uh, you know, a lot of the Friday the 13th movies and stuff when I was a kid. So I went back and caught up with those. And I had a friend that was obsessed with the Halloween movies. So I've seen all those multiple times. Nice. But recently I've really gotten into a lot of the great television that's out. I've watched American Horror Story from the first episode and I actually got my wife to watch it because she doesn't like horror, but I I was like this show looks really quality, we should check it out and she was engaged from the beginning and she was a fan of True Blood, so we kind of swip swapped right. and we watched True Blood and I kind of got into that which it, really fell off the last few seasons but we won't get into that or maybe we will in a yeah, later say, episode. maybe we'll get to a point where we trash it right uh, I, I gotta say i mean yeah i mean the current tv climate has definitely been the quote-unquote gateway drug to get into a lot of these really awesome right. things and i'm hoping we'll get to cover them um for myself uh I, i've been a spooky kid for since the word go i had three older sisters who from the moment freddy krueger hit the screen uh and i went oh no that's scary they decided to torment me with it and build in a deep-seated appreciation for <laughs> slasher flicks and the like. Awesome. Um, from there, my my very, very good friend and cousin, Evan, uh, the two of us just dove headlong into it. We we devoured everything that, uh, that the video store would let us rent and or mm -hmm. we could talk one of our moms into renting for us. Uh, I, and I think that's what drew us is that, that, you know, these were scary, but we knew at the end of the day we could turn the tape off. But then you had those, those great box arts that were on the VHS tapes. Yeah. Um, and from there it just escalated into loving things that are even tangentially ooky spooky have skulls on it. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, and I mean, it just, I, I've been in love with horror, sci fi flicks, the cheesier, the better ever since. Oh, yeah. uh, you know, I, I think we both grew up on a diet of Mystery Science Theater 3000, because, uh, Comedy Central was, uh, playing those, and those, that show is just, that, that shaped me. That show definitely had a, a very positive impact. And I, you know, it, and if that's something you didn't necessarily grow up with, I hope some point in this show we can cover some of those and maybe talk about them and really get you to dive in and chew on that. That's a lot of fun. Yeah, I'll I'll let you in on a little secret. I have not been exposed to Mystery Science Theater. <gasps> I've I've seen clips of it, but uh, no, I actually never watched it. We didn't have cable way back when that was on. I didn't have cable, and so I wasn't exposed to it. But I was a huge sci-fi fan for pretty much all my life, and I really like the campiness of some of the movies and I think there's something to be gained from watching movies from another era and sort of looking at it through that lens and I think yes. we'll probably do that we've done that in some of the ones we've already recorded because uh, spoiler we've recorded a few already but <laughs> I guess with that I could jump into what we expect to be our release schedule and what you guys yeah, can expect from us 
Basically, we intend to release a new show every other Sunday at midnight, so you can listen to it on your way to work or, uh, you know, start out your week with some ooky spookiness. Or if you're in the graveyard shift and need something to listen to. There you go. <laughs> It'll come come right in at the beginning of your shift. You know who you are. Um, but anyway, we might have some extra content, some things that fall outside of what we normally cover, which basically, like Gil said, we'll cover programs that we don't really have time to cover on midnight layer or maybe right. things with rights issues basically that we can talk about and discuss and we'll even talk about some tv shows and tv movies and the like but if we do have extra content we'll let you know about that and we will try to keep this cast family friendly so you can listen to it with your kids or anyone else in the room he's told me i can't cuss nearly as much as i do so you're probably going to hear the wilhelm scream over certain choice words i occasionally let slip it's possible, but you, you've you been good so far. You've edited yourself well, so I appreciate that. That's less work in post. <laughs> but, yeah, I think we're going to have a lot of fun, and I think uh, Gil and I have a lot of stuff to say. Hopefully, we're interesting enough to make you want to listen to us. And we hope so. After you are done listening, if you'd like to chime in and give us your two cents on whatever we're covering this week, you can email us at fromthebonevault at gmail.com. That's F-R-O-M-T-H-E-B-O-N-E-V-A-U-L-T at gmail.com. And Gil, you want to tell them where they can see what other projects we're working on? So for the uh, main catch-all for all things related to Midnight Layer Studios, you can always visit www.midnightlayershow.com. Well, I think that's going to wrap it up, guys. Uh, We'll sign it off like this. I'm Gil. And I'm Levi. Stay scary, everybody.